Okay, here we are Sunday, and it's 1.36 on a Sunday afternoon. And yes, I just got back from the flea market. Uh-oh, here we go. Hang on. Gary um, just popped up. Oh, he didn't. It's a, he, he, he just told me he went to a uh, went to a drummer's convention, hadn't slept in two days, and there was a message he left uh, about four or five hours ago. Anyway, just sitting here watching uh, AMA motocross because uh, Mark used to race uh, quads. Anyway, uh, aside from that, uh, I picked up some junk, obviously, as the title suggests, but uh, neither you nor I have seen it yet. <laughs> I looked at one or two pieces and made sure that they're all 999. Tom had them, weighed them up, it was a little over 14 ounces. I got them for. Uh, let's see, a, a little bit over 21 bucks, so it was about a dollar, a dollar ten or so, uh, maybe a dollar and a quarter or a dollar fifteen over the spot. But that's it, cheapest silver out there, and a bunch of crazy pieces, and you know me and crazy. So here we go. Now the fan is on, <laughs> uh, even though the center, the cellar is a lot cooler than it is outside. I just can. I, I, I hooked up an outdoor shower, and the and the hose is buried for about, oh, I don't know, 60 or 70 yards, about an inch underground. So so it, it, it's just a direct feed of cold water, but by the time it, it goes through that 60 yards, you run the first little bit off, and then the water's like lukewarm, and it's hidden in the middle of my bamboo, so the neighbors don't even know I'm taking a shower, but it's really nice because you can just come back from the bike rack, hop under the shower, and then and then cool off immediately before you start the, the sweat puddles. But let's get to, nobody wants to hear about my sweat puddles, so let's get to my junk silver. We'll get there if I can get this damn thing out of here. But, so the fan's on because I'm still moist from the, from the shower. Now, I don't know how well we're here. Now you can hear perfectly because you're right there. But I don't know how well you're going to hear with this damn fan. So I guess uh, during the show, I'm uh, moving the damn thing here. I guess I can turn this fan around for a minute. So it's not making as much noise. I don't want to turn around. I might have turned the damn thing off. Uh, so here we go. And this, I'm telling you. I guarantee I've never seen any of these, and I guarantee if anybody out there has, by all means, let us know. So we'll start with the first one, and this is a, let's see, a Daniel Boone. And certainly over an ounce, and Tom knows how I like Indians, and Mark, Mark's crazy about Indians, so I guess Mark's going to end up with this. If he, if he gets to see it, maybe I can hide it before before we bury something in the next day or two. And the information on all of these is on the side. They're art coins. 999, fine, fine silver. Anyway, here's the craziest one. Now, this is unbelievable, and it doesn't have much circulation. But... I'll let you guess for a second. Well, that should be a contest. What the hell's the name of this coin? But some European would win it and I'd have to deal with that. So we won't have it. But here's this. 1975 annual Halloween medallion. Now you're telling me there's fools out there that that every... From the Hamilton Mint? I never didn't even notice that. But that every year... Get a Halloween, get a Halloween medallion. This I haven't weighed. This is a couple of ounces. Maybe it says on the edge. Let's see. Here's the nine nine nine. Mm, no. Let me switch. Maybe that'll show up better with this thing. Alright, how'd I do this? Now I need three hands, how come? Oh, 
Where is it? All right. You're getting a good shot of my fingerprints. I don't want anybody steal my fingerprints here. 999. Fine silver. I don't know what all that information is. It's 106 on. Uh, no, I guess it doesn't say how heavy it is, but it's it's way well over an ounce. Mm. Well, we got to go back to the smaller one now because that is way too big. Oh no, the goddamn battery's dead in this one again. Must have left the thing on. Lebanon Valley Coin Club, 1973. So these guys must have put a, had a coin made every year. And it tells what this thing is. Okay. Here's the Gloucester Coin Club, 1972. Efreda, PA, wherever that is. And but I obviously know where, because people that would buy these, you know, would just put them away. Nineteen from seventeen thirty-two. Let's see what this one is. Marstown, PA. 18 or 1768 to 1968 bicentennial. All of these are the, in that Art Deco style. I sort of like. Uh, did we just show this one? There's... No, this is a different one. Gloucester Coin Club again. Okay. Let's see, this is a nice. Looking coat of arms, no date or anything, but on the back, it's from Strasburg, East Strasburg, Centennial, 1870 to 1970. So these, it's, it only makes sense because Tom goes around the junk, to to junk bins all around the eastern Pennsylvania where he's from. So that's probably why all these are, are from Pennsylvania. Merck is Bicentennial year, 200 years, 1776 to 1976, United States of America, Bicentennial. Uh, let's see, who the hell puts this out? Standard information, I'll have to look some of these, oh, I don't give a shit, I don't, I'm not going to look them up. <laughs> but anyway. This is see that people. I am a newsmatic guy. Here's the uh, wherever it is Hanover Numismatic Society organization, 1963 Hanover, Pennsylvania. See that? Nobody can accuse me of being a drunk dealer. I don't know who these guys are, but we shall flip and find out. Oh, here I'm looking down from a new asthmatic guy. I guess now I turn into a Catholic. That ain't happening. St. Patrick, St. Andrews, St. George, and St. David. Oh, well, any of you Catholics out there? Now, this I'm not sure of. It says $1, United States of America. Now, who the hell is this guy? Hanover, PA. Now, Christian Gorkett, 1966. Hanover from 1785 to 1884. Uh, how the hell can a 
a community like Hanover turn out a, a 999 silver dollar? I thought you had to be the feds to do that. Okay, there's another one, Gloucester Coin Club. Ephrata, whatever that is. I mean, whatever, wherever that is. 1971. There's the cloisters. 1732. I think that was on a different one, on another one, too. Here we got Covered Bridge. I'm losing it here. We're getting way up there in time, too. The Fitzgerald Hughes home, Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. It's a nice looking coin. These are, you know, this is junk, but it's just some crazy junk. New York, past, present, future. Historic New York. 225th anniversary. Man, they'll put out something for everything. What's this? Lebanon Valley College, Anvil, Pennsylvania, 1866 to 1966. I guess this is a coat of arms and the saying for the college. Let's see if we can make out what the hell this is. Mm. Eh, who cares? But there are. Here's here's another one of these guys. Different year though. Coaster Coin Club. F from PA nineteen sixty nine. These guys knock shit out every year, apparently. This looks a little screwy from the back. And here's another Indian, so Mark will want that. Source of countless artifacts. Susquehanna tribes. Must be a historic society. And let's see what this baby is. Oh, the Hershey Coin Club, Inc., PA, founded in 1956. See, and this one, is you can't even unwrap this and get a chocolate out of it. 1974. So, that's my little, see that? Oh, damn it, I must have, must have pushed that button, left it on, burned the things out. But, still, still junk, but interesting junk, and it's the cheapest, cheapest stuff out there. No shipping, you know, no handling, no postage, no nothing. Just pack it up and bring it home. Thanks for watching.